With spring fully in swing, let's revisit some cool winter stories that happened this year at Zoos Victoria. At Kyabram Fauna Park, cold-blooded residents were treated to a brand new reptile house. Visitors can see 14 different species of reptile, as well as a couple of green tree frogs. It's also home to Australia's most venomous land snake, the inland taipan. At Werribee Open Range Zoo, this winter saw the birth of three new lion cubs to experience mum Nilo and first time dad Sharu. So Nilo's been pregnant for three months, a three months gestation for lions, during which time our vets and keepers have been monitoring her really closely. Like many species across Africa, lions are decreasing, mainly due to human wildlife conflict, poaching, habitat loss. We've seen African lions go from being common across Africa to now being classified as vulnerable by the IUCN. That means there's something like 30,000 adult lions left in, uh, in Africa and they're declining. So cubs being born here at Werribee is not only good for the female, for her health and the health of the pride going forward in development, but also good for the population of lions in the Australian region. The two male and one female cub have quickly made themselves at home. Over at Healesville Sanctuary, the brand new Raptor Rehabilitation Centre was completed. Every year, the vet team at Healesville Sanctuary treat hundreds of injured wildlife, including many raptors and other bird species. Flight fitness is a vital part of the rehabilitation process for raptors, and this donut-shaped building allows injured birds the ability to fly continuously and safely before being released back into the wild. Zoos Victoria celebrated another year of the They're Calling on You campaign, a great way to support gorillas in the wild. Zoo visitors can help eastern lowland gorillas in Africa simply by bringing their old mobile phones and dropping them off at any one of our zoo properties during their next visit. Every phone that is collected by Zoos Victoria helps raise funds for the Gorilla Doctors, who are the only organisation in the world that provides veterinary care to wild gorillas in Africa. Eastern lowland gorillas are at risk through mineral mining. One of the minerals that is mined in gorilla habitat is coltan and that's something that's found in a lot of our mobile phones. We've managed to collect over 180,000 mobile phones since the campaign launched, and that's raised just over $300,000 for gorilla conservation. Melbourne Zoo Gorilla Kanzi was particularly happy with this year's They're Calling On You efforts. And in fighting extinction news, this winter saw the discovery of critically endangered Victorian grassland eelis dragons out in the wild. It's the first time they've been spotted in Victorian habitats in over 40 years. Since then we've been trying to get an impression of the type of habitat, why the lizards are here, how extensive that habitat is, and potentially how large the population might be. The same thing happened with the Canberra eelis dragon. That hadn't been seen for many years until that was rediscovered 20, 25 years ago. So this eel dragon perhaps coming back from the brink of extinction. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great Zoos Victoria content, make sure to click the subscribe button below.